In this video, we're going to cover how to install a free SSL TLS certificate for a Windows Server 2022 running Internet Information Services, or IIS. The Windows Server has some minimum requirements which you can review here. In addition, for this tutorial, we already have a Windows IIS server running. We're going to be focusing on the installation of the certificate. If you need help on installing IIS on Windows Server, please review the previous video located in this playlist. As previously mentioned, we already have an IS web server running. This is a Windows Server 2022, but the instructions will be similar for other versions of Windows Server. You can see here, IIS Manager is running. I have a default website and no special bindings. This particular website is listening on port 80 via HTTP. HTTPS is not enabled at this time. If we take a look at the contents of INET Pub, we can see that I have a very simple website ready under www root, just an index.html page. Let's open up a browser and verify that we can visit this website. This particular website is being hosted in the Microsoft Azure platform. You can see here that I reached the page. However, the page is not secure. The browser indicates as much. If I try to access this page via HTTPS, you should expect it to fail. Notice here that the web server is not responding. The next step is to acquire a certificate. There are free services out on the internet that provide these certificates. I like to use a service called Let's Encrypt. On this website, you can see that they service many, many websites on the internet. You can get documentation on how to use this service by clicking on the documentation link. You'll need to review some of this information on your own. But for now, we'll need to download a client to communicate with this service. Notice here there's a link for ACME client implementations. I'll click on the link. This service supports many different clients. You can use any of the clients that you wish. I typically like to use the win-acme client. I'll go ahead and click the link. It'll take me to the page where I can download the client. Notice here there's a download button as well as information about the support of this client. I'll go ahead and download this client. Next, let's take a look at the client itself. I've already downloaded the client in this win-acme folder. Let me go ahead and unzip the file. We're going to open up a command prompt and proceed with the configuration. But before we do that, we need to set up a special binding in IIS. Let's open up IIS Manager once again. We're going to go to Bindings. And we're going to edit this existing binding. You're going to need the fully qualified domain name. This needs to be established as a DNS record. Let me click OK. Click Close. And let's return back to the client. OK, now that we're in the command line, let's launch the client. We're going to type in capital N to create the certificate. The client found a default website. We'll click number one. We'll pick one for this binding. And we'll continue with the selection by clicking Y. And that's all that's to it. This client does a numerous things. Number one, it will download the certificate every 90 days from the Let's Encrypt service. And it does this by including a scheduled task, which we'll take a look at next. Let's click Q for quit. You can see in the task scheduler library that there's a few tasks already set up. This third task, win acme renew, is already set up to run at 9 a.m. every day. On or about every 90 days or so, the win acme client will automatically download a new certificate. There isn't any additional administrative work that's required from you. Let's go ahead and test the certificate. I'll open up a browser and let's visit the site using HTTPS. You can see here now that I've visited the site, itgear.eastus2.cloudapp.azure.com. And I can verify that I'm visiting the site using a secure protocol by the browser's assistance. I can view the site information. And you can see here that the connection is secure. If I expand this, this shows that the site has a valid certificate issued by a trusted authority. I can view the actual certificate by clicking on this icon. You can see here that the certificate has been issued by Let's Encrypt. And there's additional information that you can review 
including when the certificate was issued and when it expires. As you can see here, it expires after a 90-day period. But again, the WinAcme client is scheduled to renew the certificate on its own. Well, that's it for this demonstration of how to install a free certificate on an IS web server. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.